Hi everyone, welcome to Chorus House. Today we're going to thread the handlebars onto the frame. Now we've got two cable pullers set up. These are very simple and it's probably what I use the most. They're just brake cables. So one is coming out this side and one is coming out this side. What I'm going to do is attach one of them to here. Uh, this leads to the wireless unit and then up to the handlebars. So we'll feed one of them through and the other one is the rear brake. Now the rear brake has got the damper on it, just a big long tube of it rather than cut up into small pieces. And the front brake has got none because it goes through the forks. Before we do anything though, I pulled that up to there. So that's coming out of this side. And now you must remember to put the bearing and the bottom cap in because they're not splittable. So once you attach the handlebars to that, you won't be able to put them in. So put them in now before you do anything else. Okay, so everything is prepped. So I've put um, some waterproof grease under there, put the split compression ring in and put the top cap on. I've also done the same to the front bearing and the bearing surface under here. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll pull it through. I'm going to pull the rear brake cable out of the bottom bracket so then I can see how much length I've got and how much dampener I'll have to take off. So about a minute later, we're in this position. So the rear brake is out of the bottom bracket. The front brake cable is pointing down and everything is looking good. Now, the problem is, is everything Everything has to go down the front, but at the moment it's pointing that way. And we need it to come down here and then down there. So we'll put in the fork and steerer tube and try and get everything behind. Okay, so maneuver all the cables through so it's really short. And then we can pull up on the forks. We'll push them through and then just sort out which side of the steerer tube these cables are going, put in the split ring. Uh, it's not overly difficult. Just keep pulling on the cables here, here, yeah, on the this one. Just pull on them, get it nice and short, and then we're ready to push the steerer through. Okay, steerer is through. Everyone wants to come out the back, as you can see, so we're just going to have to rock it, put them the side that we want. So I'm going to have the front brake this side and the other two cables will be the other side. Then we'll put in the split compression ring and that will hopefully hold everything in the front. Okay, so after some pressing and some prying, we've eventually got everything lined up. So we've got the front brake on the left, DIT running through the middle and the rear brake on the right. Had to cut a little bit of dampener off of the rear brake just to get it in, but um, it is in. That will compress down nicely. Now we're just gonna put the bars on there, put in the other bit of carbon there for the maximum spacers and put the spacers around one by one. And there's the first one in and you just keep building them up, snapping them around till we've got all of them in. Okay, they're all built up. That was really simple with the way they fit together. So bars on, extra bit of carbon in, and uh, we'll clamp it down. Bars are on, extra bit of carbon there. Don't know if I can pull it out now. Yeah, there it comes. So that just fills the gap in case I want to take my spaces out and supports the, the stem clamp. There it goes. So what I'll do now is I'll put in some fibre grip on the inside so I can put my expander plug in. So we're going to torque this up with the old hand drive torque wrench and then we'll put in the top cap and it actually is going to oh, that tapping you can hear is the front brake cable. So on the next video we're going to attach the calipers. That's it for this part of the build series. If you like the channel give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next part. Take care, bye.